There's a humorous quote that says, going to church doesn't make you a Christian any more than standing in a garage makes you a car. And that comes from some of the mean people that have gone to church and then left church and expressed that meanness to others. I've known mean people that go to church. So have you. I've had some mean people in my own churches. But it is how you express your spirituality that makes the difference on a daily basis. Going to church helps, but then as you leave church, you have to practice the teachings in your own life. You don't just leave it to the minister or the people working at the church. You have to do it too. Matthew 7, verse 12, instructs us, In everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. Well, that is the golden rule. In Matthew 12, 35, it says this, A good person produces good deeds and words season after season. It is not just enough to do good deeds. You have to use this right here as a worship tool. You have to uplift others. You have to be positive in your speaking. You have to never be mean. Never push your will onto others. If we are to observe the laws in everything. That includes what we say with our mouth. We must be careful to speak words of encouragement. We must be careful to speak words of hope and God's truth to all those that cross our paths. Sometimes when we're uplifted and secure, It's very easy to speak positive words. Other times, we may be ourselves discouraged or weary or stressed, and we can scarcely master the energy to uplift ourselves, much less anyone else. But God's commandment is clear. We must live it, and we must speak it. We must observe the golden rule in everything. So today, I ask you to think about the words that you're speaking to other people and the tone in which you speak them. So often, we get addicted to sarcasm and, and uh, saying things with a slight off tone, which changes the whole meaning. I remember one time I walked into a place and they said, oh, they said, you really look good today. (laughs) Well, that wasn't a compliment. Think about the words that you're speaking before you speak and be sure that you produce not only good deeds as a Christian person, but good words also. And decide to uplift others, and you'll find that they decide to uplift you. God bless you.